Okay, this is a video I know I talked about. I was going to make a video on how to do uh, returns in functions, because I think I did one in, like, uh, voids, but that doesn't really instruct you on how to get a value um, from the very many outputs that you may, uh, uh, outputs that you may input your, into your function. So uh, I'm going to make a new uh, console application here. I'm just going to call it uh, returning functions. And I'm just going to hit next here, uncheck pre-compiled header. <coughs> All right, and there we go. So we have our new fun little project here. And let's, uh, first thing we need to do is include our IO stream. If I can spell IO stream today. And we need to include our default namespace. There we go. Alright, so I think if you watched in one of the other videos, I talked a little bit about how you need to have what's called a precursor, and um, that just lets the compiler up here know that I'm expecting a method of, uh, or function, sorry, function of uh, some type of name, and, and it's going to be declaring and returning some type. So, uh, let's see. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, let's see, I'm just going to call it... I am just going to call it double, I'm going to call it integer, we're going to return an integer here, and then maybe we'll do some other types here, we'll call it, uh, we'll call it int, let's see, int age, how about that, and down here, we'll declare our function then, and sometimes there's modifiers in front of these, and if there are, don't worry about it, if there aren't, don't worry about it, it doesn't matter either way, so, and yeah, so now it's kind of expecting something to come back from this function. And we want to return something from the functions. You can kind of think about that in a, in a logical sense. We want to return something, so you type return. And you won't always see these braces. Let's see. Yeah, you won't always see these guys. Not everybody has them. Um, not all people use them. For whatever reason, I usually like to use them because then I know that whatever I'm putting in there, I have a return. So, so yeah, so we are going to return something, and let's just return the number 6 for right now. This is just a static value. Okay? And so, let's see, I'm going to say int return value is equal to age. And then let's output our, let's see, return value gave us to return value right so now we're just all we're doing is we're just outputting and, you know, I'm obviously not six years old god I hope not I have a pretty advanced voice at that point I guess already hit puberty so Let's see, uh, so our return value is equal to whatever this function returns, and it's expecting a return type of int. And yeah, you can think a lot about how anytime you declare something, you're usually going to declare a data type, and then you are going to declare your, uh, your variable name. And methods, or functions, whatever you want to call them, uh, have usually these little... Uh, brackets after them. So let's just rebuild our solution here, make sure everything's rocking and rolling. And all right, and let's get going. Yeah, so sweet. So we printed out the return value, gave us six, and that's pretty much what we expected. Pretty straightforward. Awesome. And now, uh, now there's a few other ways here, right? We could, we could not save this return value. We could, we could just call the function straight up. So we can say calling age and I'm just gonna say age. And now let's run it. So all I did is I uh, I, I did what's called overloading, and I just uh, overloaded the cout method here, the cout function, and I'm just gonna call age just straight from the console. I'm not even gonna save it to anything. And I still got the same value, right? It's just gonna it's it's returning whatever is there. Um, all we did in the previous example is we just saved it to a value, and sometimes that's beneficial for code later on down the road you may want to to use 
but uh, in this case, you can do it in either one. It's not too much. And let's see. Let's see. We want. Let's try. We want to return a type double, right? Let's return a type double. And uh, let's see. We're gonna return. 5.4, 5.3, how about that? And we're gonna have to change this to a double because that's what it's expecting. It's expecting to be saved. Um, you could do an integer, and right, we talked a little about uh, in the first declaration videos how that wouldn't quite work. Um, if you tried to save an integer to a double, you would just get the, what, uh, whatever is the whole number and it would drop the precision. It draws, drop anything after the decimal, right? So. And then finally, looking up here, we can see that, look, error cannot overload functions distinguished between return type alone. So see down here it has double age. See up here it has int age. And so in that case, we need to change that too. So now suddenly, all right, everybody's happy. Everything's working fine. So <coughs> let's uh, rebuild this quick. Debug and start without debugging. And there we go. So we have a return value, gave us 5.3, and call ending age, gave us 5.3. So pretty neat, pretty simple little way. I mean, and I can change this to a string, to a string value, and I need to change this to string down here. And change this to string right all sorts of stuff needs to change and all right so you can see here it's kind of kind of complaining a little bit here oh std string we need to include string up here there we go. That gave us the header files for uh, C out here. C out was the everything else was kind of fine, but um, this function didn't quite know what to do. So, all right. Finally, running it. Return value gave us hello, and calling age gave us hello. So exactly what we expected. Great. All right. Cool. So. That's a quick little uh, lesson on using uh, return, changing return types or calling functions um, in these ver or in these uh, in these uh, uh, console applications. So we'll get into maybe when you get into classes, it's a little bit different, but pretty similar concepts. So hopefully this is uh, beneficial to you, and that concludes this video.